Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Prasida Legal and today I'm be making a DTMF robot with the help of the Arduino Robotic Kit. This is made from Robo India, this is a manufacturer. This is also called as a Roinco Arduino Robotic Kit. So if you are interested in product reviews, tech videos, uh, art videos, please consider subscribing my channel. So let's start with the video. This is the part 3 of this video and in the part 1 of this video, I have done the basic assembly of the Roinco Robotic Kit. That means I have attached the motors, I have attached the wheels, and the Arduino shield, and the 6AA battery holder. And these things, this is in the part 2 of my Roinco Arduino Kit review. Uh, in that video, I made a line follow robot. So this is a line follow robot. As you can see, these are the IR sensors which can be used. If you want to check that video, it's in the description of the video. And part one is also in the description of this video. So let's start with part three, which is making a DTMF robot using Arduino Uno. So some people may be thinking, what is a DTMF robot? DTMF robot is nothing. It's like a remote control where you can control the Arduino robot with your phone like this. So the things needed for making the DEMF robot is that the basic assembly. So if you want to do this basic assembly with the help with the Royal Cardinal Robotic Kit, you can watch the part one of my video. You need the DTMF screw stud set. You need a DTMF module. This is the module. And you need a 3.5 mm auxiliary cable to start with this. So that's it. So as you can see four holes over here, we have to insert these screws behind these four holes. One I have already done over here. So what you need to do, we'll just go over here and put the screw inside and hold it. Then take the screw stud, just this thing. Just tighten it. We have to do similarly, we will do this to these two sides over here as well. So once you have done that, in all the four sides, as you can see, you will take the DDMF module, which is this, and you will place it over here and align it so that these screws can go inside. So similarly, as I did this one, I'll do it on all four sides. So now all the four screws have been inserted. Now we'll take this auxiliary cable and insert one of the ends over here to the DTMF module. So now what we'll do, we'll look onto the Arduino and we'll connect the Arduino with the DTMF module using jumper wires. So now you can see over here there are four connections, one, two, three, four. I have connected them, these four connections over here. We just see you can see this six pins over here over there and over here you can see a five watt and ground so here also a five watt and ground symbol is given as you can see so five watt to five watt and ground to ground are connected like that so let's now connect the Arduino to laptop and upload the code and test if it works so now I have connected the Arduino robot to my laptop so as you can see over here both the wheels are spinning in opposite direction so what I'm going to do is upload the forward robot motion code I'll give you the code is present in the website called the Robo India so I'll be showing it to you from where I got the code and so we'll upload it to this Arduino then as you can see this both are rotating in opposite direction opposite direction so we have to change the wire connection in the m3 terminal to make it proper so i'm going to do that so first i'll disconnect 
Arduino. Take my screwdriver and change all these wires. So now I have uploaded the forward robot motion code and I'll be showing you that code and if you have any doubts how do I connected all these wires clearly I'll be showing you at that as well so please watch the full video so now I will be uploading the DTMF robot so this is the Robo India website and this is the link I'll be giving this in the description of the video so over here you can see according to this which is given over here this sketch we have to connect all the wires so first we have to connect these photos you can pause the video and see how you can connect it or you can go to this link and see how to do it so then what you have to do is on these parts then we have to test the water connection as I told we have to interchange the wires of M3 if both the wheels are not for moving forward direction now if you want now this is important first what you have to do before uploading the DDMF robot code you have to upload this code which is the forward robot portion code now you can download this sketch from here of the DDMF robot so I'm just going to download it So this is the DTMF robot code. I'm going to open it. And I'll be uploading this to my robot. So if well in when it's uploading, if there's any issue saying that the com is not found, you can go to tools, you can select port and select your port. So that will help in a proper uploading. So now the DTM of robot code is uploaded and I'll become connecting this to my phone and I'll be inserting batteries behind so that it is works. Everything is ready. I've connected the 3.5 mm auxiliary cable to my phone and you have to press it, the phone should be in full volume as you can see I'm just going to turn off the light so what happens is that for the, we have to install this DTMF tone generator when you press the number 2 the robot will move forward number 5 it will stop so this is how it's like a remote control which works so as you can see I'm going to press the number 2 which is forward 5 is for stop 4 is for turning and 6 is for turning as well 8 is for backwards 2 is for forward so that's the simple so you have to install this DDMF tone generator which is there in Play Store and you can control this with this app the robot but there's only one problem is that you have to connect this auxiliary cable if it was like bluetooth then it would be easy you don't need these wires all around so then also it's nice for making your first controlling a robot for your first time so in the part 4 of this video I'll be making a PC controlled robot with this robotic kit and in the part 5 I'll be making an obstacle avoiding robot which can avoid obstacles with this kit that will be the last video of this kit so if you want to buy this kit you can buy it from the description of this video and it's available for 2500 rupees so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like